just noodling around here a little bit folks hey um god guys i cannot believe how long it's been since uh, i've done one of these videos it's <laughs> there's so much stuff to catch up on and i say that every time but good lord it's been since the billy gibbons bmi awards uh ceremony that i think i've done a video i've been to spain and back sold out madrid with an all uh spanish and italian rhythm section it was amazing trip of a lifetime um uh, nobody travels like musicians, man. We know how to hit the ground running and cover a lot of territory. And, and we, we, we like to dig in. We like to eat good, drink good, um, and uh, play a little music, meet some new people. Just the, the joys and the, the beauty of the unknown and a new place. Never stepped foot in that country ever uh, until a few weeks ago. I was there from uh, October the 1st or 2nd through the 16th. And, uh, and just a great vacation. Like I said, put uh, my buddy put together those two gigs, which was incredible. And uh, thanks to everybody that came out to that. Man, again, I just can't believe how long it's been. I've got to get to where I can get on a consistent uh, schedule with this YouTube channel, man. I'm so sorry. I'm, I want to grow it, but then I realize, it's like, dude, it's not going to grow if you don't do anything. Um, but hey, that, that, little, um, that little thing I was doing there early on with that little uh, intro improv, uh, you know, I never know what I'm going to do until I l literally press record on the camera and then I just sit down and, and try not to fuck up. But, um, but so, you know, getting kind of, you know, teaching a lot, playing a lot and, and trying to kind of figure out uh, what it, what it, what is it really that we're doing on this, on this instrument, you know? Is it learning every note up and down the fingerboard? Is it learning all your modes? Is it learning all this stuff and, and, and practicing these, these repetitive things and all this? It's like, man, I don't really subscribe to that method. I, I think, you know, if people that are worried about their right hand or their left hand, just pick up the guitar and start playing something. We don't have a lot of time here, guys. And so, um, you know, we just need to, di we need to dig in and get our hands dirty and start playing. Um, now, with that being said, we do need to know a little bit of what we're doing, like, you know, the chord inversions are what's going to get you up the neck, uh, learning the information around your major, minor, dominant seven, major seven, the triads, how to build those, seeing that stuff. I preach that because that is what changed my life. So, you know, it's like I, I've been going back and forth on Instagram with a bunch of um, 
a uh, bunch of things about you know the guys that are teaching guitar that don't have any real world experience versus guys that are that have played thousands of gigs and sessions and been on every you know uh, stage and with you know multiple kinds of music and different artists and every scenario you can imagine uh, which is called experience right and so uh, Ben that's why guys like us are are able to work and, and keep you know progressing I think is because it's more of the true spirit of making music and less about getting into these really you know analytical things and worrying about anything it's just let's make music and so I know that's kind of a, a a a broad statement with a lot of gray area but but it's it's man it's it's trimming the fat and 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 not obsessing over these little things let's just play and try to make some music so with that being said the exercise that I'd kind of like to show you here it's not it's not an exercise it's more of just a comp a a, a, a um it's a, a, a kind of a, um, a not it's not an exercise it's more of a, a an approach i guess and so, like, if I'm playing in the key of C, and it goes to F, okay, well, if, I, if I'm here, and I go in from the A shape, first of all, one of the great things about these chord shapes is putting your hand in the proper position. If your hand's in the right position, your hands are going to, your fingers are going to fall where they're supposed to without you even thinking about it. So, uh, with, you know, of course, with a little bit of scale, you know, your hand knows where the scale is, the arpeggio, the pentatonic, and the major, minor, dominant seven, and major seven sounds. Extremely important to get past the pentatonic prison is, is, is getting our head around those four sounds and how to outline those. Right, okay. So with this, I'm going to show you how to play a, a kind of a box chordal shaped pattern but then add a scale note to get to the third degree of the F chord. So I'm, I'm targeting the third. That makes it sound like you're going to F. So if I'm playing um, C, great way to get up to the root, A shape into the G shape. builds that F chord. So if I go, this is melody, right? So if I go, now if I go to the, if I hear the G come in the next chord, G, which needs to be treated as a dominant seven, the G, uh, the five chord is always dominant seven. So then I'm keeping that third theme going, right? Cause it's going back to your C. So scale but I'm going but the F note is heading towards to being the flat seven of the G so it it works right it sounds good it's pleasing to the ear because you're emphasizing the notes from the chords that are changing this is a super simple concept it's not easy but it's simple um, so F of the chords to get around this is why i'm preaching about chord shapes because this is what changed my entire life and allowed me to visualize the fingerboard and get the muscle memory under my, under my fingers to where now i can kind of start to play things that i actually don't cringe too bad i, I enjoy some of this now um, because i'm able to kind of get around a little bit just scratching the surface but but a little bit so this this continues on, you know. Now up this triad. Now walking down, resolving to C. I could go the D shape G. right into the F chord, the F walks right into the G. You got to use the major scale, but you're stopping on the notes 
that accommodate the core. This is huge. Any of all this stuff too, watch. Those little things. Because watch, here's C. And then G, if I go G. The same parts of those scales, you know, F. So each degree of that scale, it's it's gonna it's gonna create melodies and lines over these basic chord changes. But you have to be confident on what notes you're landing on, and not just targeting the chord tones, but connecting those with with scale notes, note leading nice melodies into those. So if I start on the five. complicated but I'm it, they're they're kind of musical thoughts and phrases right if I go uh this is not rocket science but you flat seven go to G7 so G7 pulling your ear towards the major third okay that's just a little quick thing uh, but you know what guys look I'm gonna tell you this too uh, the holidays are coming up don't forget great gifts for um, for for you know your loved ones if your wife or girlfriend needs an idea Tell them to come over to GuthrieTrap.com. We'll get them set up with some with some great T-shirts, some hats, some um, records. Uh, new, you know, the new records are coming out, folks. I'm, I know that's been a minute, but we're we're busy and 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 uh, trying to enjoy a little bit of life too on the side. But um, those records are coming out, and when you hear them, you're really gonna love them. Uh, and so there's that. But um, also, what was I gonna tell you? Um, oh shit. Oh, the lessons, man. Yeah, we're still doing a ton of lessons. The two different uh, half-day and full-day guitar immersion experiences where you come to Nashville, hang with me. We do two hours of videotaped lessons. We do breakfast, lunch, dinner, live music, uh, Nashville lifestyle. It's a total blast. I just did one earlier today and, and yesterday. These are a total blast. So, uh, and then the, the two different lesson uh, tiers, Zoom or virtual lessons, and then at home here in Nashville. All come with video that you can access my concepts of how to truly make music the true spirit of making music unlocking the fingerboard in a way that you can use that makes sense and is not just a bunch of academic bullshit that's never gonna work I want to get people playing music you know it's this <laughs> Just get, let's get down to what real real music is. It's rhythm, harmony, melody, groove, pocket, all these things, you know. Um, it's not this, you know. Uh, um, uh. Okay, I'm, you know, you got to know that. But man, let's just get to, let's just unlock the true spirit of making music. So check all that stuff out. Also, got to say one last thing before I, I hang up is um, uh, thanks to everybody for checking out the newsletter. 
we're loving doing this newsletter. It helps me grow my mailing list, um, but also it's just a lot of fun. Uh, me and Ashley sit down and brainstorm. We come up with with fun stuff. It's it's more of a blog than it is a newsletter. We're not trying to sell you anything, even though there is a Black Friday sale that's going to happen for lessons uh, this uh, holiday season. Um, so why not give somebody the gift of music and help them learn a little bit on their instrument? Um, get them a lesson. If your girlfriend or wife's looking for a gift idea, say, hey, go over to GT and let's get a lesson. Um, but anyway, that that's... Um, the idea. So with the newsletters, please subscribe to the mailing list. And uh, we're not wearing you out. We're doing uh, two a month, but they're more of a, a blog. It's travel stuff. It's photo highlights of just some stuff going on. And it's fun. They're fun with some suggested listenings, a little quote from a famous musician that are, can be inspiring or funny or whatever. It's just a little something for everybody. So we're loving the mailing list. Thanks for supporting that. And uh, we will see you guys real soon. Thanks a bunch and uh, rock on. All right. Cheers.